Good morning, Senator. Good morning. It's great to be with you. It's great to be with uh, with you as well. Um, your your party's in the White House. They're making a, a a real push for this, Senator. So you're actually on this issue. You're actually going against the wishes of, of your party, right? Well, let me tell you why. Uh, Bernanke has been at the table of economic policy, the inner circle, for eight years. Uh, he has been there when derivatives were unleashed. He has been there when the leverage on the investment banks was unleashed. Uh, he was there when proprietary trading expanded and threatened our commercial banks and our lending depository institutions. And so through every major decision, he has amplified risk in the system. And all of that came crashing down last year. And I don't think that the person you want to rebuild your house is the person who helped set it on fire. Well, the, the proprietary trading, though, as we know, that that didn't have anything to do really with, with the crisis this time around. And um, there'd be a lot of members of Congress probably that, that, that uh, enabled Fannie and Freddie and, and home ownership being a, a something that, uh, that we strive for. There's a lot of people there that shouldn't be reelected either then. Oh, there's plenty of risk. There's plenty of uh, fault to go around. But even when the Fed had primary responsibility for consumer protection, and the mortgage markets in uh, 03, 05 started to do a flip to subprime. And the Wall Street Journal study was 60% of those who were, who were getting subprime loans qualified for prime loans because essentially brokers were getting these steering payments to uh, steer people into bad loans. Fed had responsibility for it. Bernanke was missing in action. So he, he wasn't running the Fed, but as, because he was part of the overall... Uh, picture if you, you you think that even with the job he's done in the last since he's been chairman this time that doesn't that, that doesn't help you give a thumbs up for his renomination actually he was a member of the fed yeah, uh, right. he wasn't yet chair and no. then he was chair of the council of economic advisors and then he was chair of the fed and even when he was chair of the fed folks came to him and said we have dangerous overinflation in house pricing and we got a big problem with subprimes and he said oh i've heard it before don't believe a word of it he just never came to grips with any of the risk factors that set us up for this economic collapse. We've, we've done a lot of, uh, you know, look back at, at actually what went into it, and we've, you know, we've vilified a lot of the, the, the CEOs as well. It, it's hard to find anyone, there's a few people, but hard to find anyone that realized uh, that the, the housing bubble, to the extent uh, that there was one, could result in a 30 or 40 percent drop. I mean, it, it, you would have had to have been... Kreskin probably to figure out the, 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 all of the ramifications that would come and, and all the, the things that went into it, the AAA rating that you got from the, the agencies, the credit default swaps and AIG, so many pieces of the, pubble, of the, uh, of the puzzle to get to that. I mean, it's smart, smarter guys than, than us, Greenspan, all these guys, Larry Summers. I mean, it was pervasive. No well, one knew that, that this was coming. I, I, can't you look at the guy from what he's done since then? Well, he's done a pretty good job with the fire hose, opening the windows, establishing additional credit to help us get through this process. But still, that's this last year. The things that he did in unleashing the, the risk factors uh, really set this whole deal up. And so, no, I don't think the person you want to rebuild is a person who always took short-term Wall Street profits over a stable, successful financial structure for America's working families.